Hi there. And today's question comes from Justin. And Justin's a server in a restaurant, but at the same time, he's training for a 100 miler. And he's a server in a particularly large and busy restaurant. And what he's wanting to know is, should he be adjusting his 100 miler training program to adjust for the number of miles he's on his feet? He um, kept his garment on during one of his serving evenings and he actually logged up 16 miles of rapid walking up and down serving tables. So, and he comes from a history of being getting into his, his ultras in a completely overtrained. He's got a history of overtraining as far as his. Um, running history is concerned so should he be adjusting his training program to be able to adjust for the amount of time that he's on his feet serving the restaurant my personal perspective Justin is absolutely and it's not so much adjusting your running distances running times or things like that it's the amount of time on your feet remember that Walking, serving in a restaurant is impacting the same tendons, the same ligaments, the same joints, the same effective muscle systems that you are utilizing in your training program. So 16 miles additional on your feet, Justin, will just pure and simple is extra time on your feet and where most other people in their working environment would be maybe sitting in, uh, and if you check one of my other videos where I suggest a stability ball if you're in an office sitting on a stability ball it's weight off your feet so obviously additional weight onto your feet within your working environment means that you effectively needing to adjust your training so that you're spending less time on your feet while at the same time getting your cardiovascular training. So therefore, incorporate some swim workouts into your, into your training routine so that you're getting the cardio while at the same time um, having completely zero um, impact as far as your joints and tendons are concerned. Also, look at cycling as a cross-training method, which also helps to boost your cardio, but at the same time, it's time off your feet as in a, in a direct type of sense but very importantly if you're logging up 16 miles in a day in an evening serving tables in a restaurant then you most certainly do need to adjust the amount of time on your feet during as far as your 100 mile training is concerned so that if you equate it out from where your training program is at the moment um, and then you include the amount of time that you're on your feet as far as the serving in the restaurant is concerned that you do not um, on a week-to-week -week basis ratchet up the amount of time on your feet too much because that Justin is most pure and simple where your overtraining problems are no doubt coming from that's my take on the matter share your comments and questions down below don't forget to click the like button if you like this type of video content Click the thumbs down if you don't and share this out amongst your running friends and last but by no means least don't forget to click the big red subscribe button down there as well that way you can stay subscribed to my channel for all of the new video content that comes up on a day-to-day week-to-week basis stay carved up for the win out there i'll see you next time cheers